there is an understanding in the Linux community that Arch users are snobbish, cultish, and clannish. I think is the words that you'd probably be able to find on the internet over, you know, in places that describe Arch user, Arch Linux users. Uh, the same can be said about Gentoo users. They are very enthusiastic members of the Gentoo community, and they're insular, right? They think Gentoo is the best. Same with Arch. The Arch users think Arch is the best, and Ubuntu users think Ubuntu is the best, and Mint users think Mint is users are the best. And if you, if you are outside of those communities and you say something against those distributions, obviously you're an idiot. But for whatever reason, the Arch and Gen 2 communities seem to have the stereotype of being unhelpful, of being clannish, like they don't welcome new members very easily to the clan. And that is definitely true. But I think that the problem is, is that this mentality actually applies to the whole Linux community as a whole when they talk about Linux itself. So if you're a brand new Linux user, or let's say you haven't quite made the jump yet, let's say you're a Windows user and you're thinking about jumping to Linux, you're going to hear things. You're going to hear things that make it seem like the Linux community isn't helpful towards noobs. And it's sad to say that this is kind of true. I got this idea on Reddit because there's a subreddit called r slash Linux questions and it's one of the top Linux communities on Reddit. They are for asking questions. That's literally what the subreddit is for, is for people to get on there and ask their Linux questions. And it, if you go on there, it will shock you to see how many times the answers are just deplorably unhelpful. I mean there's read the effing manual there's this is a noob question we don't want to answer it there's just flat out ignoring noob questions completely and it's not just this one subreddit it happens in every linux subreddit and it happens even more in the more clannish subreddits like uh suckless and arch those subreddits tend to very much be anti-new user and Probably for good reason. You don't want new users to get right into the Arch Linux subreddit and start asking, what is Linux? You know, how do I change directories and stuff like that? It's not the place for it. But the way we respond to those questions, no matter where they're asked, is very important. And it's not something that we do well as a community. And the problem with that is, is that we drive away new users. If you haven't made the jump to Linux yet, or if you are just starting out with Linux, and you have a problem, you have a question, and it is definitely a noob question, you know it's a noob question because you're a noob, and you go to subreddit, or you go to Twitter, or you go to Mastodon, or you go to whatever, and you ask this noob question, and you get shouted at because it's a noob question, or you get ignored, or you get derided because of it, what are you going to do? you're going to go back to Windows. At least most people would. The only the people who stick on Linux are people who can push past that mentality of the Linux community and find the answers on their own. Not everybody's like that. Mo some people don't Google well. They don't they're not in the habit of going to Google and finding the answers themselves. They're in the habit of raising their hand in class and getting the answer. That's how they do it. That's how they've always learned. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in the Linux community, when people ask questions that are considered noob, the responses they get can be very disheartening because as a community, we're not good at answering those questions because we think that everybody should look it up first. And I know I'm guilty of this. I know when I find someone who has a noob question, I tend to point them towards Google and Googling it because, and I try to do it in a, you know, a nice way, but I do feel that new users have a better chance of sticking on Linux and being successful in their Linux journey if they get comfortable finding the answers themselves. They'll learn it better that way, and they'll also get more information that way but the internet is a huge place there's a ton of 
misinformation out there. There are trolls everywhere telling them to run stupid commands in the terminal. And that's not a great way for a lot of people to learn. So I know, like I said, I'm guilty of it. And I think as a community, we have to be better at embracing our noobs. We have to be able to, when they have a question, how do I get out of a directory in the terminal? Explain what how CD works. You know, it, how do I figure out how to move things in the terminal? How do I figure out how to install Arch Linux? How do I figure out how to burn an ISO if I want to change to a dis different distribution? Because it's not the same as it is on like Windows or something. I think they probably used a uh, you know a Windows tool of some kind, and you know they probably maybe they Google how to burn an ISO in uh, Google and they come up with the command DD and th they also get these big red flag warnings saying be cautious of how you use DD because you might race your disk or whatever they're gonna ha be confused and be worried and like I said we as a community need to embrace those people and help them along not deride them because they happen to be noobs and we don't do that we often very much deride people who have what we consider stupid questions and that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing if we want Linux to expand and to have more users. It's not a good thing if we want to have a better reputation as a Linux community because honestly right now we don't have a very good reputation when it comes to embracing people who are new to the ecosystem. We just don't and it's not just Arch and it's not just Gentoo. It's all of us. It's no matter what distro you have, especially if you embrace that distro as being your team, your, the, the, your family or whatever, because we tend to get into these small insular communities based on the distribution and software that we use. And we don't enjoy having people come into those communities and ask stupid questions, even if really they're not stupid questions. They're just noob, noob questions. I think that we're all Linux noobs. I don't care what distribution you're on, every single one of us have questions that we don't know the answer to. That's just the way it is. I know I don't know anything, everything about Linux. Uh, not even close. I learn something new every day about Linux, and that's why I like Linux, because I enjoy learning things new. But I know I wouldn't be nearly the Linux user I am if I hadn't found some people that are willing to help me and overlook the fact that I often have stupid questions so and i know every single one of you out there is exactly like me because none of us know all the answers nobody was born knowing what linux is or how to use linux know how to know everything about linux so when you come across someone who has a noob question remember back to when you were the noob and how you would have felt if you'd gotten an answer of read the fucking manual Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast or hit the join button down there on YouTube. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Chris, Mitchell, Merrick, and Camp. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.